Kieran uh, Perkins is back to judge red faces. Yeah. For, for, um, I should say that. And I should say, uh, Kieran, do you, do you by any chance follow the rugby? Do, are you uh, you're up for the like the big final tomorrow, Manly versus St George? You... I've been in Sydney, but not actually at the game because I'm, unfortunately that that team from Brisbane didn't quite make it. But oh, I see. Okay, I'm sure it'll be good fun anyway. Well, it'll be the Eagles or the uh, or the Dragons or whatever tomorrow. Now, of course, we have our regular red, as we like to know call call him regular red on the Ooh. far end of the pack. Yeah. It's like a light and shade thing. Ooh. Now, Redmond, if you if you feel a bit, it's, it's it's all too much having Kieran at the other end of the panel being an Olympic gold medalist. No, Daryl, who gives a toss, eh? <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. But but just in case you were anyway, <laughs> here's another Olympic gold medalist, and also a Wimbledon champion. Four successive years in the doubles, one of the Woodies, Todd Woodbridge! Right! Yeah! Yeah! Right. Fantastic! Two. Gee, hey, Todd, it's great to have you in. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks well, for you, having me. You really, I'll tell you what, you've. Uh, since the Olympics and Wimbledon, it's just been on a roll, hasn't it? I mean, you probably hasn't, uh, haven't had a chance to stop and reflect on what's... No, we went to the US Open after that and we won that as well and just oh. had a couple of weeks off, which has been really good. I've Life's a real that. drag, isn't it, Todd? Uh. Hey, just championship after championship. By the way, Mr Perkins, yes, I'll have didn't. you know that I hold the world bedwetting record. <laughs> I, no, I did. I came that first... for you, uh, believe yeah, me. I came first it. in the 1500 litre. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dickie. And oh, Mitch, Mitch, Kieran, you've got what's next for you? The Pan Packs or the Worlds or the what? Yeah, well, Pan Packs are up next year, but at this stage, I'm just really looking on to Worlds uh, right. in Perth, which yep. will be great. And, and Todd, what's your now? You've had two weeks off. Yeah. Do you go back? You're living in the states now, mate. I live now. in Orlando, in Florida. Oh, oh, we're going there. Well, we're over yeah, there. We're two weeks' gone. time. We'll see you over there. Got a court? Uh, wish I'd be home. Oh, you won't be there? Ah, uh, flying out to Singapore tonight. Oh, okay, yeah. well, just, just leave your front door key with me. All right. <laughs> we won't, honestly, we won't leave a mess at all. We're very, very clean, aren't we, Will? Oh, Will. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, we're normally pretty clean. Um, so we'll, we'll talk. Okay. We'll talk. But let's have uh, Act One on. His name is John Fowler, and he's performing <laughs> Going Out of Business. <laughs> There was a time I had a full head of hair I would grow it down to there It was thick and flowing And was nice for stroking But I don't love them, but the cry But I just get it in my eyes And now the shampoo company Be going out of business on me This guy's good I tried to you didn't make it to the chorus. Yeah. You didn't get to the chorus, but you were building up to it. Is that your own composition? Um, that's my composition. Yeah. We had to invoke the mercy rule. Sorry, Daryl. Pardon? I didn't get it. We had it. to invoke the mercy rule and get him off really quick. Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we take the full score and comments that Kieran may have for you. Um, well, I, I pretty much gave you nothing for the dress sense, but uh, the looks were pretty right on target, I think. Six. Yeah. It's a six, not a bad score. Six out of ten. <laughs> John, are you playing anywhere? Are you working anywhere? I'm uh, playing nowhere, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, these scores, if they're low, uh, we'll probably send you in into a further depression. Yeah? I'd appreciate that. Yeah. All right, OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John, what, what do you think? Well, uh, I don't get to see a lot of musicians live, but the end of the guitar, they look like something like tennis strings that I would use flinging around there. So. Maybe I've I played could... a few sets. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I gave you a four for that. It's a four for the loose strings on the end. Four. Might have six off the nut cutting strings off a bit tough. Cool. Uh, but now, hey, let's bring you up again here. Here's Redmond. I must say that that performance was deeply rooted. <laughs> deeply rooted in a great Australian tradition of self deprecating humour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a total score of 12. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Whip over there. Uh, you may, you may yeah. actually win. Who knows? Um, <laughs> and stay out. <laughs> if you live on the Gold Coast or anywhere in the vicinity, you might like to know that we are holding Gold Coast 
Auditions. Yes. John. You could finish up like John Fowler. Come along to the Gold Coast uh, Red Faces Auditions Friday the 18th of October at the Broad Beach Tavern during office hours. Phone us on 7 55 And audience is welcome, Daryl. What's uh, Stephen like, is it? Stephen's uh, Jack terrifically Strom. interesting. Jack Strom, the yeah? man who yeah. runs okay. the Red Faces. That's Jack yeah. Strom. That's the guy you've got to suck up to. <laughs> okay, there it was. <laughs> um, now, Steve, I've, I've just had the word that Stephen's... What, what did you say? Fantastically what? Terrifically interesting. Terrifically interesting. Oh, terrifically interesting. Ja- that's Jack yeah. using some of the adjectives yeah. that he uses at some of the auditions. That was terrifically interesting. Let's find out how interesting. Stephen J. Whiteley performing for you. Stephen! How he's doing? I was uh, playing with my dog earlier on this week, which I like to do, and everyone reckons dogs are really smart. But I'm not convinced. Because dogs do some pretty stupid things, like get your dog and blow in its face. It hates it. You done it. Hates it. But if you're in the car doing 160 down the freeway, (laughs) where's the dog? (laughs) Weird stuff. Made an interesting discovery. They're on delay. Um... (laughs) I made an interesting discovery this week. Discovered after six months of wearing my hat like this, if I turn it around, I can see. (laughs) Yeah, pretty cool. I was driving down the road in my car the other day, saw a sign in the shopping centre car park. It said, park and shop. I thought, what options do you have? Thanks very much. Yeah, I had a mate of mine ring me up the other day. He reckons he's had that many blind dates. Last week he bought a guide dog. <laughs> pretty cool. You could have saved it till the end. I got a pretty weak finish, but... <laughs> but, uh, no, I was thinking the other day, like, I was walking through, through town earlier on today. I noticed Melbourne have got a breed of people that Adelaide have as well, and these are the people that have to push the buttons at the traffic lights. Have you ever seen them? They're convinced they're the only people in Australia that actually know how to push a button. It can be 12 o'clock, 100 people standing around the traffic lights and these people are like, nah, you don't know what you're doing. Let me through. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) That's how you push a button. It'll change now. (laughs) They're the the same people that when no one else is around, they're standing there beating that button to death. (laughs) (laughs) They're convinced if they hit it hard enough and long enough, they can reprogram the computer and get the lights to change. Just once, I'd like to see the red guy from the Don't Walk sign jump out of the traffic lights and grab him, start smacking him in the forehead really hard. And after about 30 seconds, just stop and say, I bet you felt that the first time, didn't you? Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Well done, Stephen. Well done. That's good. That's very good indeed. Completed right through the whole routine. This is a first. Wow, how about that? How about that? You got through the whole routine there. But certain aspects of it, if people have their sound turned down at home, um, all of this sort of... Yeah. I, well, but, um, but I tell you, I think you I think you will score highly from Kieran. I've got a good feeling. Yeah, I love that. That was fantastic. You're great. You know. That's an 8 out of 10. That's a very good score. Todd, you'd never see this uh, this sort of stuff in America. No, and I don't get to see the show too often because I'm always overseas, and it's very often that, you know, I know from what I have seen in the past, Red, it takes him... Usually he's there very quickly, and you got got right to the end. That's pretty good. I fell asleep. (laughs) It's a seven. Good score. Fifteen so far. Three three ahead of John Fowler at the moment, who was Act One, over to Redmond. Just what the world needs, another stand-up comedian. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> have no idea. Yeah. Good on, yeah. Steve. Well done. Well done. Hey, if you live in the Brisbane area, yeah. go for a Johnny. Okay, thank you, Daryl. Yes, we'll be there Tuesday evening, the 22nd of October. That's two little ducks of October. Phone 1 800 033744. 1 800 033744. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Our office hours Monday to Friday. Thank you, Daryl. Do you think we should have, it, have, a, have him on? It's just a bit sus, the name. It's okay, the act three is called Tripod. <laughs> Rolf Harris, Tripod. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, is it just one no, guy? it's three. Oh, no, it's... Uh, oh, right. Three. A good. Three guys, yeah, Red. Right. 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 No, one of each, terrific. <laughs> no, and it's... Uh, how do I pronounce that? O- Oasis, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Oasis, yeah. Here is Tripod. <laughs> story 
Oasis. Stop your squabbling, go and do your world tour, then go home. <laughs> Today is gonna be the day that we're gonna throw it back at you. We just noticed all the chords in your songs are the same, did you? I don't believe that anybody can get away with this, but you have. <laughs> with all the catchy melodies are winding. Around the same progression and we're finding We do release three singles but could manage one Good luck to you You've got to bear in mind it is rock and roll You're free to do whatever you do Whatever you choose and you'll sing the blues if you want So you have been working around the traps a bit? Yes, we have. Well, very, very good indeed. And uh, we'll go to Kieran. Well, the hardest part about this is we're live, you see. And, uh, and uh, you know, we, we think we can't gong you off because you're going so well. And then I, everyone's having a good time. And I look across at Pammy, our producer, and she's sweating because she knows we're 15 minutes late and we've got to finish by 8.30 <laughs> and, the, and then the movie starts. Uh, and it gets, yeah. Oh, everyone uh, panics. In other words, Dale, you don't want us to say anything, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, over to you, Kieran. Uh, in your, at your leisure. At your leisure. They were good. Very good. And nine! A nine! Where can people see you perform? Oh, they can see us next Thursday night at the Grant Street Theatre in South Melbourne. Around okay. um, 7.30? Yeah. there. Yeah, I wouldn't mention South Melbourne at the moment. It's oh, just a... Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a football yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, you know, if you lived at Swan, it would be different. Yeah, Ta better, better than the real thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes! Thank you. Gee, I hope you're recording that. So I just said you're better than the real thing. Redmond. I don't like Oasis either. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a 24 boys. You've cracked it big time. You've got the $500 from McDonald's. But let's not forget Stephen who wins the 250. That uh, was a good routine, Steve. And what? Hey, let's not forget John Fowler. $100 for John. Good on you, John. We'd also like to, uh, to thank uh, Kieran Perkins for being a good sport and coming in after a long day. Thanks, Kieran. You must come back and host the show. Will you come back? Now, I, I, talking to you before, you're not, you're not signed to Channel 7 or anything at this stage, are you? I am unemployed, Daryl. You're unemployed. He is without <laughs> employment. So you, you might come back, and host the, you come back and host the show one night or something. I'd eh? love to. With, with bring, bring all the athletes and the... Todd. Todd. You, you write down your address and we'll all come round to your place. Can Doesn't I, come, matter and, if you're can not I there. come and co-host the show when you're in Orlando? Uh, well, you can come. You won't be there when we're there, though. Oh, you well, said. I can make a special trip. We can make a. <laughs> you can make a special trip. Come and look. Host one segment. We stay one night at your place. Host okay. another segment. We yeah. stay two nights at your place. Yeah. Yeah. How, how that's the way to. How many of you are there? Yeah, What's that? How many of you are there? Oh, only about 40, 50. That's no. right. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll host the joint out when we're finished. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, please stay. Kieran Perkins, Todd Woodbridge, Redmond on the end, and our yes. Uh, for the evening, as we say, this was Red uh, the Show.